Hi guys, this is Timoteus. In this video I'll introduce the Roman gladiator type called Trix. If you haven't seen the video where I introduce the seven most popular types of gladiators in Imperial Rome, I suggest you check out that video first. The link is in the description. Okay, enjoy. This gladiator's name, Trix, means Thracian, as in an inhabitant of Thrace which was the name of the area where now the borders of Bulgaria, Greece, and Turkey meet. Let's talk about the equipment. The subligaculum, or loincloth, and the balteus, or belt, and the manica, or arm guard, are the same as those of the murmillo, the provocator, etc. When it comes to protection of the legs, though, there is a difference. The trix, like the oplomacus, wears two ocreae, instead of just one on the left leg. Because this type of gladiator does not carry a large shield, there is also need for protection of the upper legs. The helmet of the trix looks a lot like that of the oplomacus, but there is one important difference. As you can see in this picture of a helmet that was found in Pompeii and belonged to a trix, the crest ends in a griffin's head. The style of this helmet evolved throughout the imperial period, but the evolution is pretty similar to that of the Murmillo's helmet, so if you want to know more about that, you can check out my video on the Murmillo. It's basically just a crest that's different. It is believed that feathers were used instead of horsehair to crown the Trix's crest. Some depictions show neither feathers nor hair. I've come across a few statuettes that show a trix carrying a round aspis-like shield with straps like that of the hoplomacus, but this is rare. Usually they carry a parmula that looks a lot like the semi-cylindrical scutum, but a lot smaller and without an umbo or shield boss in the middle. Modern reenactors tend to give this type of shield a vertical center grip, but I've yet to see convincing evidence for this. If anyone has come across a clear depiction of the handle on the shield of a trix, let me know. Whether it has a horizontal grip or a vertical grip, it most certainly had a center grip. Because of the relatively light weight of the shield, the trix is able to move it to the position where it is needed very quickly. It makes it much more agile in general than scutari like the murmillo. As shown on this oil lamp, he can stretch out the arm in which he's carrying the shield towards the adversary to create some distance, but also to intercept thrusts and slashes before they gain momentum. Trying this with the much heavier scutum will result in a tired arm pretty quickly. The most peculiar part of the trix's equipment is his curved sword, which is called a sika. Some of these swords just curve upwards slightly but most depictions show a sika that curves upwards quite abruptly in a more or less 45 degree angle. The trix is most often depicted fighting the heavily armed murmillo. The trix is agile but vulnerable, and the murmillo on the other hand is slow but well protected, which makes for an interesting dynamic. If the trix can use his superior speed and the angle of his sword to his advantage, he may be able to get around the murmillo scutum, but if his attack is too predictable, the murmillo is bound to counter and try and strike at a part of the trix's torso that may have become exposed during the attack. Here's an example of this combination. The murmillo is on the left, and the trix, who has put his shield down on the ground to acknowledge he has been defeated, is on the right. Another combination is that of a trix versus a hoplomacus, but this appears to have decreased in popularity as time went by as most depictions are quite early. I've also seen one relief that seems to depict a trix fighting another trix. For a link to a picture of that combination, or to any other artifact I've mentioned but not shown, check out my blog by clicking the link in the description below. That's it for this video guys. If you enjoyed the video you can help me out by hitting the like button, commenting, sharing and subscribing. If you'd like to learn more about one of the other gladiator types, click on the links in the description below. 
This was Timoteus. Thanks for watching.